Hello, this is Rick and welcome to the fourth week of the Excel 2010 course and this is going to be the first uh, tutorial um, out of two tutorials and so this week's topic is going to be working with formulas and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and I've created a, a spreadsheet here to calculate um, a total pay for um, a week and so this would be we're going to add you know a base salary plus some some variables you know that involve commission percentages and things like that to um, use several different um, um, pieces in a formula and then the second part of this week's lesson I'm going to do more of a um, standard formula I think I'll do future value um, and walk through a scenario there that will show you how to do a future value as an example Anyways, I'm going to jump right in here. The first thing I wanted to point out is what I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet. Um, I've got employees here. I've got a title of the employee. I've got their weekly base pay. Um, so this would be like for a car dealership. And then I've got the number of cars sold that each person sold. And then I've got how many accessories they sold and how many bonus accessories they sold. And when I say bonus accessories, special items that you get extra high um, commissions on as an example and then if you look down here um, what I've got here is some information uh, regarding these different roles and different commissions and different volume bonuses and things like that so junior salesperson makes 350 a week sales exec makes 500 a week and the sales manager makes 600 and then if the junior salesperson sells four cars in one week they get a four hundred dollar bonus if an ex if a sales exec makes five or sells five cars in a week they get a five hundred dollar bonus and of course they all roll up to the sales manager um, and if the sales manager has a total of ten cars um, on it on their team uh, they get a thousand dollar bonus for all the commissions that they sell they get a sorry for all the accessories that they sell they get a four percent commission and all the bonus accessories they get a 10% um, commission so with that said the first thing we want to do is calculate the volume bonus and how we're going to do that is I'm going to go here in this cell and what I want to check and see is the number of cars sold here meet the requirement of the number of cars sold in order to get their bonus in this case $400 for a junior salesperson so how we're going to do that we're going to do an if statement so we're going to say equals if I'm going to hit tab and then you're going to see it's going to give a test here so the test is going to be is this number here in cell D2 is it greater than or equal to 4 and then I'm going to say comma and then what if it is what if we've hit um, 4 or greater sales you're going to get a $400 bonus Otherwise, I'm going to do comma, and what if it's false? You get zero dollars. Okay, and then you close parentheses and hit return, and there you have four hundred dollars. And now you can see over here, if I change this to three, it will change to zero. So we'll change it. We'll change it back to eight as an example. So then I go over here, and for total pay, I do a couple things. I say equals. They get their base pay plus. Then I go over here and I go to the accessories dollar value, but I can't just add that because they don't get that whole value. They only get a percentage of it. So then what I do is I, since I have to do a formula here, I do um, open parentheses. I do the accessories value times, and then I times this percentage here, right, the 4%, and then I close parentheses. Then in addition to that, I do a plus, and now they get a commission on these bonus accessories which is a different rate so I'm going to say open parenthesis sorry let me do this first open open parenthesis this amount times the 10 percent commission and then I close parenthesis and then I say plus what their volume bonus is okay so now that's how much the junior salesperson made that week because they had such a good week selling eight cars. So now I can take this formula and copy it down like this to all of them and you can see there's some sort of a problem there because this user here um, they didn't get any you know they only made their base commission so what what the issue is is 
I'm pointing to in this formula, I'm pointing E2 right here for accessories times B17. B17 is this commission amount. When I copy it down here, you see it goes to B18, which we don't want that to happen. So what we want to do is we're going to highlight this with the mouse and then hit F4, and that's going to make it a... Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong key. I'm going to hit F4, and you see that's going to put dollar signs in front of, in front of the um, column and the row, and then you hit Enter. And I'm going to do the same thing for B19. And I'm going to do F4. And what that does, what those dollar signs do, is they make it a constant value. Oop, I did it on the, um, did it on the wrong one there. Let me do it right there. Do F4. Alright. So, uh, constant reference, I should say. So, it, now if I copy this down, you see what happens this copies B17 and B18, this copies B17 and B18. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, increment by, uh, by a row each time you copy it. So now we've got a similar issue with the volume bonus because we have different dollar amounts. So I'm going to copy it down and I'm going to go over here. This is a junior salesperson so they've got the same target. Now a sales exec, they have to make a five sales in a week and then they get a five hundred dollar bonus so I'm going to change that value and I can just copy that down like that and then the sales manager they have to make a volume they have to sell get ten or more cars and then they get a thousand dollar bonus and now the sales manager totals down here work differently these are individual sales and the sales manager gets credit for everyone's sales. So we see what we did here. We did equal sum E2 through E5 to get that total. It's the same thing for the bonus accessories. And then the cars are the same thing. Number of cars sold. It's the sum of all the salespeople's cars that work underneath the sales manager. And then there you can see their weekly pay. All right. One other thing I wanted to share with you is there could be a scenario where um, you've got different tiers, so maybe they sell four cars, they make four hundred dollars. Um, but what if they sell eight cars or ten cars, they might make six hundred dollars or something like that. So what I said here, I said, what if the volume bonus had tiers? In this example, a junior salesperson sells between four and seven cars, they get a four hundred dollar bonus. Or if they sell more than seven cars, they get a nine hundred dollar bonus. So what I did here in this formula is I put an if else statement um, and what that's going to do it's going to say if it meets certain um, certain uh, criteria you get four hundred dollars otherwise if you meet this criteria you get nine hundred dollars and if it doesn't meet any of them you get zero dollars okay and that's how that works so, we'll, so um, I'm just gonna um, leave that on the spreadsheet and then you'll be able to download it with the class material so Anyways, thanks for joining, and I'll be posting uh, all these on the website soon. Thank you.